now then, and welcome to a brand new series, a brand new episode, a brand new server, and a brand new bunch of peeps making modded Minecraft interesting in 1.10.2. 1.10.2. This series is starting in 1.10.2. I don't know how how long this series is going to be because the previous season this let me just introduce actually this is friends through online gaming t uh, no f t o g f t o g fatog fatog i'm not sure how to pronounce it <laughs> fatog this is f t o g friends through online gaming and it is their server um and i was kindly given a place by thorgal who i met on the arc server for the iron mine and we stayed in touch we do a lot of similar things and i wanted a new modded series with some new modded challenges with a bunch of players who are gaming and making life interesting on the server as well as making a lot of content for my viewers to be able to see lots of different things from different points of view uh, and I could also interact with them in lots of different ways. Uh, and feel like the place is a busy, busy server. This is their season four. And I'm just starting. This is They started two days ago, I believe. I think they started on Saturday of this week. Just gone. And they have already started building things. There's a, a cool build down there, which we'll go and see in a minute. There's a cool build over on the... Uh, side over there and I believe other people have headed off to do other bases and stuff this is kind of like spawn in point right here spawn in point so it's just general basic amenities a few uh, furnaces in the ground I've put a chest and a couple of workbenches are down here everything people need when they first arrive on the server and I've had a little hunt around just to check that things are working smoothly so what am I going to get done in the first episode probably not a lot Probably not a lot. Uh, I've already been kind of exploring around and finding some interesting things from this uh, Terra Cuis. Terra Cuis? I, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I've never even heard of this mod before. Terra Cuis. Um, but they've got these funky, funky, funky fruit trees that you could just right click, right click and get fruit off, which are cool. And these fruit are basically giving me the same nutritional value as apples. So I've got oranges and cherries and plums and lemons. I got some saplings from a couple of them when I chopped down a tree. Uh, but I didn't want to chop down every tree because, well, some of the trees, like down here, uh, that dude Chaos has got a little base around here. Uh, is his thing there? Yeah. That dude Chaos has his grave just there. I think maybe that was the last time he died or maybe he left up there because he would, had nothing. But the trees just sort of like drop fruit, drop it, and... Uh, He's made a lovely little base here. Uh, that do He's got a hobbit hole started in here. Uh, not much going on yet, but it's still early days. The, the server only started on the weekend. So he, he's getting there. Uh, but that's his little spawn hobbit hole. I need to find a place to build my spawn um, base, as it were. I've got some plans for the series. There are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of crazy things inside the uh, J.E.I., that I've not seen before. Crazy new mods which look cool. And there's lots of people on the server who are active and busy doing things. Let's have a little look around here. From what I can initially see, as you can see I haven't gone far. I've literally wandered around spawn a bit and just grabbed some basic food. And uh, got some wooden tools. Uh, but there's a base over here already. There is that dude Chaos's base just here. There is another build over here with a farm over here. There's another tower there, but I think that might be a roguelike dungeon. And I'm trying to picture where I could fit into this kind of spawn area. If this is the spawn chunks here, then I'm thinking over on this island, uh, over on this mountainside over here. Just having a couple of chunks over on this mountainside over here, which is east, east of me. Which is that away? So uh, let let's start by going off that way to see. There's a, another newbie on the server with me, MG Rose. Uh, we are both new to uh, friends through online gaming. Ftog. We're both new to this, and this particular mod pack is brand new as well. 
Uh, Thorgal only just made it. Uh, the origin, the season three, I believe, was based on um, event two, which he also made. Hey, uh, chickens and stuff as well. Whew, stuff going down there. Uh, yeah, there was event two, which because of modded Minecraft increasing so quickly, um, it went from one stage to another very, very quickly, didn't it? Wild coffee from actual add-ons? A fallen branch? Oh, yeah, fallen branches are pretty weird. It's like you break it, you get this little nuggety thing, right? And these little lumps of gravel, you put four of them together and you make a block of gravel from fallen branches. It's a bit weird, isn't it? But I guess it's okay. Uh, was this was this the section that I was looking at? This is the section I was looking at. I want to go up this way a little bit. Yeah, just here. Now, I don't know if I want to use this, but I want to build a warehouse at spawn. I want to build a warehouse set up at spawn. I want to see if anybody's already building here for a start, because spawn's just over there. I want it to be fairly close. This kind of little plateau clean area here, I'm sure that'll be something... And I'm kind of thinking that I might claim this little mound here. But I want to have a look around first to see just generally the things that we we have not seen before in any of my series before. Uh, I'm sure Thorgal will just like know them all because he's, uh, he's much better at modded Minecraft than I am. Um, he's uh, He's got a lot more knowledge in the situation and he runs things over here quite efficiently i feel so I'm, I'm glad to be part of the team over here glad to be allowed onto the server glad to be allowed to uh, join in and get get to grips with this whole style of play uh there's there's going to be a lot of derping no doubt at the start but i i just want to like make a place and learn some of the basics for the world generation because the world generation is very interesting I, th I believe that the grass seems to keep growing because I've seen areas been cleared and then grow back again. The, they, the, they just, the seeds, the, the leaves and everything, just grass starts growing. I've seen it with my own eyes, I'm sure I am. Uh, and these, these bushes, these trees are pretty awesome as well for all the things that they give you. It's, it's, it's very crazy. It's a biomes of plenty world as well. Hey, I just got a flower. Thank you. I'm now a flower child. Awesome. Uh, there's lots of cool things in this mod pack that I've I've just looked at pictures and thinking, oh, it's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. I want to try that. See, there's somebody's base down there. They've got this little ledge here. This is the start of their area there. I don't want to intrude on them, but this is spawn. So this isn't, uh, this is nobody's making permanent bases. This is people making temporary bases. Do I want to leave a chicken lying around? Yeah, I guess I do. Uh, no one's making permanent bases as far as I'm aware. Um, they're just going to be kind of like permanent spawn houses plots. So I think that this is a good place. Even though I'm right next door to that one and I'm fairly close to that one over there, I think this little little mound here could be good for me. There's, there's caving opportunities already in place. Uh, I don't really want to go down there just yet and start caving. But there's caving opportunities down there. There's lots of fruit trees around as well, which is good. Uh, and I wanted to build a big warehouse, like a big, big warehouse building that I can use as my base for now. And then in the future, uh, I can turn it into a shop. Because there was going to be a kind of a shopping district talked about for the server. I just keep picking up fruit everywhere. I'm never going to go hungry in this pack. I don't need to worry about food farming. Because uh, as long as I've got a few trees, I can just basically live off fruit. I am now a fruitarian. And there's Batania in the pack. So I could potentially do a druidy thing. Become a fruitarian druid again. Uh, but, but no, I don't want to do the another season of a druid's tale just yet. Uh, this is something new and different and interesting. I want to play around with some of the new mods. So I've, I've looked around as much as I can here. And I feel that this mound here, this area here, is available. I feel that it's available. There's a build over there. They're doing some work around that side. There's a build over there. And there's a build over there. If I do my build just on this mound here, then I feel like I'm not going to be encroaching on anybody. 
and it's going to be good. So I might leave that hill just there as well. So there is a hill between me and the other player over there. I don't even know who that is. Should we go and, go and find out their name? Gathering some more bits and pieces while we're going. Let's go and find out their name, see what they are. Uh, oh, we haven't taken all the clay yet. There's quite a lot of clay around. Let's go and see. See if there's any signposts or anything showing me what they are. They've got some uh, skeleton horses. And a little bit of a patch of food. This is alabaster. It's a new thing. And uh, storage boxes. And... Uh, Sai and... Conjured blocks from Sai. Well, they're already pretty advanced. But it doesn't say their name on it. So it's not, like, telling me who they are exactly. Oh, I just... I just trampled. I'll fix that later. Uh, they're not. Sh it's not showing me who is in this area. I wonder if they've got a little base location here. There's another one up there. They've, they've done quite a bit of work so far. And it's only been a couple of days. But you know how it is with modded Minecraft and server play. The first few days are the busiest always, aren't they? Uh, what's this here? Uh, Mistaken's Hall. Mist Akins. Mist Akins? Maybe that's what the name. Miss Hackins. That might be Miss Hackin. A Niz Hook. Niz Hook. There's somebody else. All of the uh, channel links will be in the description down below. I believe it is pretty much YouTubers only in the, the channels that are uh, allowed to join. But those YouTubers also do streaming via Twitch and Beam and stuff like that. So you'll be able to see them. Uh, all in the links down below and go check them all out see if there's anything interesting there for you I will be just clearing out this area I think for a little bit and then I'll be back with you in the morning alrighty so things have changed things have changed check it out I have a great big foundation sorted out it's taken a while it's taken a while because I'm using stone tools pretty much I'm still in the stone age still using stone tools uh, but this mound that was next to that mound, which was, well, just away from spawn a little bit, is now cleared and I've set out where I want my foundation of my house to be. My my future warehouse, it should be, actually. My house, my future warehouse. I want a house that's a warehouse and have a little, like, house attached to it somehow. Maybe a flat above the warehouse or something. I don't know exactly how it's going to look yet. At the minute, I am, I've put fences up, planted all the flowers that I ended up picking up over around the place while I was clearing it out, uh, and just torched it up and made it safe and secure. Made a bed, of course, and just been grabbing basic bits and pieces, basic Minecraft stuff, just grabbing stuff. I did actually find one of these old roots, found out what it was used for to make a runic tablet, made the runic tablet, and the Roots mod looks awesome. Looks awesome. But I'm not doing anything about it just yet. But, but I just sort of happened upon it. It's all brand new. Something different. There's a few guys on the server with me. Their links will be in the description down below. If you want to see what they're building. But I think uh, Brink the Gamer is just over there. He is my one neighbour. And uh, Razgul is down there. He's another neighbour. He's got a little cave entrance just there. Where his base goes to. And what I think I really need to do now is uh, go mining. Because I could do with getting a bucket. A bucket of water. A nice simple bucket of water. So I can set some farms up here to farm some basic crops. Uh, I could potentially go down to the... What just got me? Bees. Them bees. Them bees, man. Them bees. Get away from me. Um, I could potentially just go down to the water side and clear a little flat area and make a farm there. But I actually want the farm to be up here. So I'm going to go mining. I also need to get some iron because the only thing I'm wearing at the minute are these golden boots. Mm-hmm. Which won't last long while I'm down there, will they, really? Nope. And uh, I've got no decent weapons and tools and stuff. So what I need to do is start myself off with some basic, basic mineshaft technology. And we are 70 levels up here. We are on Y70 to begin with. So I need at least 70, uh, well I'm not going to get it that way am I? I need at least 70 uh, ladders. And I don't think I've got enough wood to do that and also go mining. Oh, 57. Oh, let's see, can I, can I make enough? I might need to get some more wood after this though. 
but can I make enough to go down from Y70? 69. That's close, isn't it? Let's take some of this. Plum wood. I like this plum wood. It's got my colour. That's why I did the fence in plum wood. Uh, I grew a few plum trees along the side here, chopped them all down, and I had enough wood to do all the fencing. It was nice. One thing I don't like about this fencing, though. Have you got any spare? Uh, no, I haven't got any spare. Um, one thing I didn't like is that it breaks and then disappears. Forever gone. Gone forever. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But that's just the way this particular thing is, I guess. Uh, let's go with sticks. And can I put a f gate in it? Yeah. I see, you see, I wanted a gate there anyway. I wanted a gate right there. Just because that's the way in and out of this particular... Right by the bees. I'm going to kill them bees, I tell you. I'm going to kill them. Right, so, yes. I now have 69 pieces of that. I have some wood to make sticks for torches. There we go. Got a little crafting bench on me. Got a bit of cobble, but I'll get plenty more. I just kind of need to pick a spot to go down. I would like to have gone into a cave, but I've just been exploring... Uh, I just explored up the map here. I just went up here and I skirted around the mountains a little bit and picked up a few resources. There's tin and bronze in these high level areas. Went and just collected a few bits and pieces from the uh, open seams. But I didn't find any decent caves to go into. So I kind of got to put something here. I want to build and I've got to consider where I want things to go. So my path around here is going to be a path around the actual wall. So this is going to be actual wall here. I'm just going to have a little path around the outside with low-lying flowers so they're not getting in my face all the way around. And I can walk all the way around my building and there'll be a fence gate at each end of the building. And this, somewhere along this section here, somewhere along the middle section, will be my main entrance. So, if I was a mineshaft, where would it be? The back end of nowhere. That side over there is kind of going out to the fruit farms. That bit there is going to go out to the main farm, so maybe I should just put it here. But that's right where I put this. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. Because if I have a wall around here, then I can have a mine shaft. And I can have some storage around the top of the mine shaft. So I only really need to go down here. This will do. Let's just start with this. And in general, I would do a 3x3 three three area going down. But... Because there's so many things in this mod pack that we can deal with, like elevator blocks from Ender IO, or, or travel anchors, should I say, I'm not going to bother doing kind of my vanilla style, even though I'm in vanilla mode right now. I'm just going to dig straight down, see what we find, and start getting some materials, uh, including gravel, because I went out and I collected a load of clay. So I now need to get a load of gravel and sand in order to make my Tinker Smeltery. Easy. Easy, don't you think? Easy. Well, that's kind of interesting. Did not expect to dig down to Y45 and find an underground cave of some kind with trees and everything in. Was not expecting that. Not at all. Uh, and baby zombies coming to try and... Uh, Kill me. And I can't hit you from there, dude. You're safe. You're lucky. You're lucky I can't. But an underground kingdom. An underground place. That's pretty cool that it's right under my base. Um, but let's just, let's just block this off a second. So I don't see any daylight. And let's have a little look on the map. See what the map says. Well, the map's showing it to be quite, quite big, really, isn't it? Yeah, quite big. All right, well, I do a little exploring. Uh, let's get rid of this baby zombie first and foremost. I've only got an axe on me. Where's he gone? Hey, dude, where'd you go? Did I scare you off? Do you try to path find another way round to me? Oh, I didn't like that idea, do I? I don't like that idea. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. If I put a ladder just there, and a ladder just there, I can get back up very quickly. Alright, so, safely does it. It is, 
it is just like a, a little area all by itself. Ha! <laughs> Come on then, zombie. You can't reach the ladder, can you? You're not big enough. Grow up a little. Grow up a little. Yeah. Come on. Grow up a little. Whee! And they drop boots as well. That's a strange thing, isn't it? They drop these kind of boots things. Let me get back up here quick. All right. These boots. I looked for uses of these boots earlier. You can turn them into leather scraps. So mobs drop leather boots and scraps and stuff from their zombies. And the use of the leather straps you put four together to make an actual leather. Which is quite cool, isn't it? That's quite cool. Nice idea. Um, I don't hear anything else in here. Oh, yeah, I do. Something now. Wow, rapid fire. That was a rapid fire something or other, wasn't it? Okay. Rapid fire skelly. Rapid fire skelly coming right at me. Okay. Whoa. This is tough, especially with no armor yet. There he is. He's right there. He can't quite get up to me. There's his mate there, though. Uh, no, can't peek, peek around that corner. Let's have a lemon. Get my healing back up fast. Oh, my days. He's there. Still watching me. I would like to get in there and light this place up quick. But without the armour, I don't think I can. Gotcha. Oh. Got him. Got him, but where's his mate? There's his mate, right around the corner there. Hey, you. Oh, nearly. This is close. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Nope. I need to heal up first before I get shot again. I need to heal up before I get shot again. Um, I'm tempted just to carry on going straight down, really, and leave this area unnoticed. Oh, he saw me. Got you. Okay, I got him. That's two down. Uh, how many more to go? I can see that there potentially is some more in here. Let's get the XP and the stuff. And let's get up out. Okay. It's not, not... Oh, there's another one. Not really where I want to be. Not really where I want to be at all. Uh, let's go across one. And then I can carry on going down a little bit. Because I want to go and get some stuff. And that little chamber there does not have stuff in. It does not have things that are any use to me. So I'll go back in there in a bit when I've got tooled up a little bit. And get myself sorted then. Let's go, cut a back across this way now. Okay. And start with the start with the ladder in. So that I can get back up out of here and I know which way to, to go. Okay. That'll do. Why can't you put a ladder in your own space anymore? Strange, isn't it? Okay, so uh, we're good. We're good. We are good. Okay. And... All right. He's still there watching. Okay. Not going to worry about him. Just going to keep on digging down. Oh, man. There I go already. Look, I haven't even got iron pick yet. And already I'm finding diamonds down here. I'm not far... I've literally just come down to the bottom here and started hollowing out underneath where my base actually is. The same chunks, the exact same chunks. I just need to find some iron now. <laughs> I just need to find a little bit of iron. Three little bits of iron. Oh yeah. Found it. Found it. Crack pot. Crack pot. Jack pot. Got it. Yes. Alright. There's also some zombie noises around me. Uh, pretty scared, but anyway. Uh, unlock this little area. That goes up to a dead end. This goes down to a lava dead end. Easy peasy, but still somewhere very close by. Within a cave or two, there is a zombie horde amassing for me. I don't know where it is exactly, but it's coming for me soon. Uh, right, so anyway. I want to get some diamonds. I want to get some diamonds. I want to make a diamond pick. And I want to rip through things and get stuff done and find all the resources. And make a really good start on gathering 
the vanilla side of things together. And I know where the lava is ready. I've got a fair amount of gravel from all this gravel that's down here. And I should be able to get a Tinker Smeltery up to up and running very quickly as well. And then get some better tools for mining. Yeah. I have diamonds. Woo! Diamonds. I has diamonds. I got the diamonds. All the wonderful diamonds. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. And I can get this peridot as well now. Yep. And I can get the redstone and the gold and all that jazz. Which is all kind of stuff that's been laying around and me looking at and I couldn't touch. Look, but don't touch. And now I've got six diamonds. That was a, not a bad little ore set, was it? That was pretty good. And so I shall have myself a diamond pick. Alrighty, so even though I've still got noisy zombies kicking around around here somewhere, just I don't know where they are yet. I've hunted around for them, but they haven't actually been able to get to me. So I'm quite safe. I've even put some uh, cobble railing around so I don't accidentally fall into lava. Um, I'm taking this lava and using it right now for this bit. Uh, and I'm just working on the basics here, I guess you could say. I'm just putting in uh, the bits and pieces that I'm smelting up as I go. And I'm making more smeltery blocks as I go. Uh, I've currently used up almost all the seared brick that I've got. So I will be making uh, seared cobblestone. I will be cooking cobble to make the other version of the seared bricks. There's actually one in there. There we go. Look. That seared stone, that co cobble sealed seared stone is uh, just as effective at building stuff as I like. And uh, I've got lots of basalt down here, so I might do something with basalt in this particular playthrough. I've got an idea for what I want to build. I've got an idea. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work out yet. It revolves around working in the end. Um, uh, but I would like my thing at spawn, my shop at spawn, to actually have the same kind of feel to it. So, yeah, tune in next episode and I shall start doing something else, I guess. I don't know whether it'll be building the uh, warehouse just yet, but we'll see. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, well, I think I should say a goodbye at this point because I've been enjoying the play around for a very, very long time. There's lots of people online right now. Check them all out. It's a very busy server. Lots of people making lots of videos. Check out the description for all their links. And I will see you in the next episode of Avant 3.